Okay, so I've never done one of these on myself, so here goes nothing. First question is, how did we meet? I met Sarah... Seriously? travel in all these same circles for it's crazy how we know each other because okay i don't know exactly how they met but i'm pretty sure it went like this how did mommy and kevin meet ah uh, when when you guys went to somewhere they met and then and, and then he decided he decided if okay we didn't know we were she was um, doing this play, Annie, and I was doing the tech for that show. And, or not the show, but the, the rally, the teasers that they were doing. Kevin, the king of drama, met the queen of, of the queen of theater. And I don't know what happened there. If you're gonna be, if you, you were gonna be, his husband, and then you start to fall in love. Well, I first met Kevin online. We went to Uncle Harry's and we met there. I was first, he was late. I thought we were just meeting for coffee. And because that's, you know, really low impact when you're doing a first date is you meet for coffee. Just have coffee and you chat. Um, Sarah ordered lunch. But I looked good because I had just gotten a haircut and I took a picture of that and I posted it on Instagram. I got a lot of likes. I actually dug that because that meant that she wasn't all casual, just being all timid and, oh, this is just, a, this is just coffee. I don't know about this. No, she's like traditional man and woman. Buy me lunch. And we sat down and we talked for a little bit and he had to get up and take a phone call because he was doing a wedding. And that's pretty much the end of our first date. What about the second date? We went to Luna's. It was not good. It was about an hour and a half of awkward silence. And so then we went to ice cream afterwards. And after ice cream, I gave him the, you know, I'm going to be really busy for a while. And um, she uh, gave me the brush off. But after a couple of dates, it wasn't working. And then a year later or so, he's, they started using the carrier pi pigeon known as texting. And I, I decided to get the gastric bypass. And she, and when I announced it on Facebook, she was right there. And was my coach, my support. I mean, just a tremendous, um, just a tremendous support to me. She pursued me. I don't know what she's gonna tell you, but she came for me. Uh, based on the number of likes I had on anything I posted on Facebook, I definitely say that he pursued me for the next year. And um, in fact, when some really crummy stuff happened to me last spring, he asked me out to coffee and we sat down for coffee and I happened to mention that I had a boyfriend at the time and there was a lot of awkward silence after that. She um, was constantly with the, let's go, let's go to Avenue Q, let's go to the Beach Boys at the fair, let's, let's go see a movie, let's go do. And I was pushing it back because it, it didn't work the first time. And I, it, 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 but um, eventually we went and saw the queue together. And uh, from that moment, it was it was on. I told her early in the relationship that. She was going to have to hit me over the head uh, to make any move. Kevin said he loved me first, 
But he didn't say he loved me. He said there's something that he wanted to say, but he thought it would be too soon to say. So let's just let it be too soon to say. And then the next day he's like, screw it, I love you. freaking out too but she turned out to be one of the most wonderful people for my dad and I couldn't imagine anybody better for, for him. What do you most look forward to about Sarah being your dumbest mom? I look forward to the fact that she will let me be the robot pirate king that I truly am and I can just be weird around her. I think I feel like I've had 14 years of theater teaching under my belt to be prepared to have a bonus daughter that is a theater kid in every way possible. She's the sweetest, most caring, and giving person, and I'm really honored to be her bonus mom. What do you most look forward to about having being your bonus dad? She is the most adorable thing, and nobody's going to argue that. But what I love about her is I love that she has just got such a pure heart. I mean, it is just kind. It is straightforward. There's no manipulation to her. She just feels what she feels, and I love that about her. I absolutely love how supportive Sarah is, how much she gets me, how much she's my cheerleader. I love her heart for the kids. I love the way she, I love Sammy. I love the way she, Sammy, their relationship. I love the way she is with Catherine. I love how good she is to people. I love laughing with her. She has this big, wonderful laugh that just, I love it. And spending time with her is so much fun. I've had to adjust, I've had to adjust some things in my life. Like so much I'll just say, let's go to Disneyland, thinking that nobody's gonna get up and go to Disneyland. If I say let's go to Disneyland to Sarah, I best be ready to put my shoes on because we are going to Disneyland. I think the question more is what don't I love about him? I know that that there's something really cheesy about saying that somebody completes somebody else. And I wouldn't say he completes me, but he compliments me in every way imaginable. He's one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Um, he's one of the most caring guys. He's so super smart. And we just really, together, are a pretty amazing team. Let me in. Okay. Right, here we go. Like, one, one, two, two three. three. And we're rolling. Light. He just told her to get light. That's like a wrestling term. She doesn't even know that. Right. He just said that's a wrestling term. Get light. Oh my that. God. Well, I told just... you that. Yes. I told you wrestling terms. You did. Did you know I like wrestling? Apparently, I'm not even shot at all. Apparently, <laughs> Sammy, come here. You come over to my side. All right. Why? Because we're trying to be in this shot. We just want to say thank you guys for. Taking a minute, Sammy. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta try. Work with me, kid. Work with me, kid. Right. Oh, great! We have a blooper reel. You, this, this whole thing's a blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. Relax. Okay. Look. Look at the camera. Look at the birdie. So, so, so. <laughs> Work with me, people! <laughs> Baby, do this. Okay, this is why we can't be in the same right, room. We can do this. We can do this. Somebody else's interview. We can do this. What are you eating about? What is the noise? Stop! Okay, this time I will do this. 
just be just be polite and be a little lady that you are. Okay, I have no and idea how Oh dog. good. Now we've got the dog. Okay. <laughs> Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay. We just want to thank you guys for <laughs> Just want to thank. The dog. <laughs> how, about, how about you just be the two the of us? The dog. We just want to thank you guys for taking a moment to take watch this. Hope you get a sense of who we are. Those of you that didn't know us, but I know you kind of. They, you think they should know us? They know us. They, they know should. Us. They're invited. We hope to you the are wedding. entertained. If you're you're invited to the wedding, if you're not invited to the wedding, you're probably not seeing this because you're probably you mad don't, at this. If you're not and don't be mad at us. Turn it off. Just, turn just it off. and you and you shouldn't be mad at this because. Weddings are expensive, and, they are. and and we only could only invite, you know, the first five thousand people we knew. We are so, not inviting. And um and uh, everybody have a good time. And that's Roxy. She declined to be interviewed for this video. She's so. in the picture. No, not Roxy. All right, we're out. Bye. Peace.